All right, what is up? What is up? What is up? You already know who it is. It is your favorite demon, misunderstood demon, back with another episode of the Demonic Wave podcast, aka another mini rant where this isn't going to be multiple segments about anything. It's just going to be one little segment where I just talk about one little idea or a little rant that I have and it's not going to be that long. It's going to be very entertaining. I'm going to be slightly more unhinged, but you know, it'll, it'll, it'll be shorter than my more thought provoking, bigger, longer podcast episodes. And yes, I just thought about the name mini rant after this is the third one. <laughs> so, but in this, uh, mini rants, I'm going to be talking about what if Americans, what if everyone in this red, white, and blue fucking place, all 50 states, what if we all had superpowers? What would happen? I can already tell you this right now, complete and utter chaos, but let's get into it. All right. All right. So as I said, this little mini rant episode is going to be about the question. What if we as Americans, what if this whole entire country, every single person in this place had superpowers? Now, the reason I want to talk about this is because this is a small little topic, a little idea that me and my dad actually talked about after we watched uh, The Boys. And, you know, we were talking about it and we came to the conclusion majority of this fucking country would be fucking villains and this is facts i do not care this is facts all right now i just talked about the boys if you have never seen the boys uh i'm pretty sure majority of people if you've never seen the uh the show the boys you probably have heard of one character from it which is homelander he is plastered everywhere he is the face of the boys basically but homelander is a star-studded type of character he is a big time superhero within the world of the boys and i have to say he basically is like a clout chaser i'm dead fucking serious (laughs) that basically is what he is he doesn't necessarily do good he's a scumbag he's a dick all right he doesn't necessarily do good and i'm gonna be honest if we as a society if we all get powers majority of us will not do good majority of us will be villains and you know what i put this into percentages because this is fucking facts i'm telling you it's my own facts but it's facts i don't care it's factual facts all right it's an md fact i said this i did what i'm gonna tell my dad when we were talking about this but in reality 85 percent of america If we all have superpowers, 85% of us would be villains. There is no way around it. We would all be majority of this fucking society would be villains. This is just facts. All right. Then it goes 10% would be straight up just influencers. They are literally just showing off their powers to get fucking likes. All right. AKA they would be influencers, content creators. Even though I love content creators, certain ones, they are fucking awesome. But yes, majority, 10, not majority, but 10%. All right, we're getting to the 95% now. But 10%, add that, that's that's just straight influencers. That's people that are just, I'm just going to capitalize on my fucking power and just try and make bank. All right, so we got villains at 85%, and now we got influence at 10%. So now that is 95%, and there's 5% left, and I'm going to split it right down the middle. Two and a half percent will actually be heroes. They will not look for fame. They will not look for glory. They will not look for compensation. They will be genuine bona fide heroes. 2.5 fucking percent. I kid you not. That's how many heroes we will have. 2.5 percent of this fucking world. All right. And then the last 2.5 percent, you will not fucking know they have powers. All right. You will not fucking know they have powers. I will not be one of them. I will be part of the fucking majority. I promise you that (laughs) if I have powers, I am 
fucking run in the streets. I do not give two shits. I'll be like, I'm quitting my job. I am going feral on ever. I'm going postal. I don't care. All right. But the only reason I'm putting that 2.5% being, uh, they're not going to necessarily show their powers is because my dad brought up a very intriguing thing. And he said, I will use my powers when need be. Right now, that sounds like a hero or anything like that. No, my dad said, no, I'm not going to be a fucking hero. He was like, no one's going to know I have powers, but I'm going to use them for my own personal gain. I'm not going to use them a lot to increase suspicion, but I'm going to use them just enough that I can get by and barely do anything now. <laughs> and I'm going to be honest. I was thinking about that. I was like, you know what? Maybe I'll be part of that 2.5%. And then I thought about it and I said, fuck no, I have too much anger. Bump that. I'm being a villain. I don't give a shit. If America itself had actual superhuman powers, we're talking like teleportation. We're talking stuff like flight, you know, levitation, mind manipulation and everything like that. It, it is done. This whole entire world would be a world war. It will be World War fucking three, an actual World War three. But instead of nuclear bombs and shit, it's superpowers. It's freaking laser visions. It's fucking Wolverine shit. It's Spider-Man. It will be a massive fucking chaos. All right. We do not need powers. All right. Especially the higher ups, especially the people that are, people that are already in power. Yeah. No, we give them superhuman powers, supernatural powers. Oh, good God. They already don't know what to do with the power that they already fucking have. They're already fucking up already. Now we're going to give them supernatural powers and be even more bigger dickheads. Oh, God. But then I talk about the 2.5%, the other 2.5% that will be heroes. These are just genuine good people. People that are just like, I just want to see the world shine today. Majority of the fucking people here, though, they want to see the world burn. And if they have powers, they will fucking do that. But other than them, only a small, small, fucking minuscule amount of people will actually be bona fide heroes. Would actually like show themselves and just be like, I'm here for the people. You want to know why it's so minuscule? Because majority of fucking people are assholes. I'm one myself. That's fine. All right. We all have intrusive thoughts, right? bad thoughts that goes on and everything like that. You're telling me we can have the power to act upon those intrusive thoughts and basically get away with it to a certain degree. Oh my God, I'm acting on it. People already act on their intrusive thoughts. Now you're going to give them powers and they can go 10 times even worse. Holy shit. Holy shit. That would actually be insane. It'd be a crazy fucking thing to see though. But then I put 10% uh, the influencers. Now, I'm talking about each percentage, and this is the last one I'm going to talk about. But the 10%, which is just going to be, you know, clout chasers type shit. These motherfuckers are just like, I have a party trick type of power. I'm just going to run up my likes. <laughs> Literally. And you know what? A applause to you. I'll probably do that shit. Probably not, because I am going to be a villain. I can't be both. That would look bad. But ten, only 10% would be, I feel like, just genuine, not genuine, but like, you know, just bona fide type of fucking influencers, content creators type shit. Whereas it's like they are just showing off their powers to get likes, to get comments, to get money, monetize and all that shit, to really capitalize on their power and basically make that shit some type of fucking monopoly. But only 10%. Again, 85% of this fucking country would be villains. This is a bon this is a bona fide fact. All right. And if you say otherwise, I want to hear that. Because if you say no, a decent amount of people will actually be like heroes, you know damn well you're lying. That's probably your power. You will get some type of mind manipulation lying type of power because it's bullshit. All right. New York alone, holy shit, that whole entire state, I'm from New York, I'm from the Bronx, all right, that whole entire fucking state is nothing but villains, that's, that's nothing but villains, give them about, villains, and you can't stop them, all right, people with just like political power and everything, 
It's already bad. Give him supernatural powers. Oh. You're going to see some fireworks. <laughs> You're going to see some fucking fireworks. I guarantee you that. <laughs> I fucking guarantee you. We are going to see some fucking fireworks. But yeah, you know, give me your opinion on this. You know, do you really think that if we as a, if we as a society, as you know, Americans and everything, if we are given supernatural powers, right? And again, any type of power you can think of, levitation, a lot, any power from stuff, you know, like anime or cartoons or, so, or you know, from the boys and everything. You know, we could be like a Kryptonian, if we could be like Spider-Man, if we could be like, well, I'm not going to say Iron Man, because technically that's just very, very rich boy shit. But, you know, like the Hulk or Thor or just, you know, just magic in general and everything like that. Do you really do? Do you think? We could do good with the power. We already do very decently bad with the power of the political game. We kind of already do shit with it. I'm going to be honest. We kind of already do shit with that. Give us supernatural powers. Do you truly believe this society that we live in can really do good? Because for me, it's a fuck no. Majority of people are turning villain. All right. Majority of people are turning villain. And I'm part of that. I don't give a fuck. I, I am part of the fucking problem. And guess what? I'm probably not ever going to fix that shit. Give me powers. I'm robbing. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> give me powers. See what happens. I'm going to be up 10 mil in about two days. I'm giving mail to my mom, my sister, my dad, all my family members. They each gonna get one. And I'm be like, guess what? I'm up another 20. And they never gonna catch me. <laughs> they never gonna catch me. But in all honesty, I feel like that is the majority of Americans if we were if we all were just to be awake awoken with supernatural powers. 85% would be villains, 10% just straight up influencers, and then you have 2.5% being heroes, genuine bona fide heroes, and then the last 2.5% just ne just never revealing themselves. Never revealing themselves. And here's the thing. They could be up, they could probably be the most broken fucking people. They could have the most broken powers. Or you know what I'm saying? And they don't want to show themselves. <laughs> Lucky. <laughs> but yeah, that is, you know, my mini rant is my third one for this podcast. Humans with supernatural powers. What do you think? <laughs> All right. Until next time. You know, be cool, be calm, be collected. Hopefully don't ever get supernatural powers and turn villain. And I'll see you in the next episode. All right. Peace.